ask big you have not because you ask not and that's james chapter 4 verse 2 letting us know of this i'm going to also read two more scriptures just to form my scriptural foundation the second scripture is matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 to 8 the bible says ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be opened to you and the second scripture is matthew 21 verse 20 it says if you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer now people of god i want us to look into the reasons of why we don't ask before we go into the benefits of asking big because if we don't deal with these reasons we will never move on to that level of asking big the way we should be asking now why don't we ask is because of limited vision or thinking you might see something that you like you might see the next level that you want to reach you might see a glorious destiny that you wish to be that you wish to be your manifestation but you are limited by your thinking and by your vision. So for you to be able to ask big, your vision, your thinking has got to expand, has got to heighten so that you can be able to ask big from your big God, from your great God who does great things. And the next thing is when, yes, we know God is a great God, but we are not having that particular revelation about his character. So which means we need to know the character of God. We need to know what the word of God says concerning us and concerning where we are going in life. And the next thing is we need to deal with unworthiness or a shame of some sort where people say yes I'm okay I'm comfortable like this maybe that is not for me maybe those kind of things are not for me no it is not supposed to be like that and also lack of faith and trust where you just don't believe or where you just don't have faith that something this great can happen to you and some people might even have the fear of rejection or disappointment to say will God even ever do that for me I don't think it is possible there are people who say this thing can happen for others but not for me people of God, that thinking, that mindset has got to be dealt with. So what are the benefits of asking big? One is that you deepen your faith and trust in God for greater things, for bigger things. You come to him with um, increased boldness because it takes boldness for you to be able to ask great things for big things it takes a lot of confidence for you to be able to do that and what are also the other benefits it's that it expands your vision and possibilities if your vision is not expanded there is no way you can ask big things there is no way you can see greater possibilities and it also increases your intimacy with God your closeness with God where you begin to commune with God at that level as your God who can really do this for you as your God who is really able no one else because you will be knowing that it is through prayer it is through that intimacy that I can get through to my next level and what are also the benefits that come with asking big is that you begin to experience the miracles of God and the breakthroughs of God yes I have spoken about about this but now how do you ask big i want you to please note what i am about to say right now i'm going to mention 
have five important points on how to ask big. Number one, you need to identify your desires and needs. They've got to be clear. You don't need to be confused about that but it is something that has got to be clear. And secondly, you've got to seek God's guidance and God's wisdom. Is that where God wants you? Is, is that um, how you suppose um, to be moving in life? Is that the will of God? What is it concerning, what is God's wisdom concerning whatever that you're looking to acquire concerning that which you need? And number three, you need to pray specifically and persistently. You need to be specific about that very thing that you need God to do for you. And number four, you need to trust in his goodness and sovereignty. As you pray, you trust that God will have the final say. You trust that God will be leading you in showing you the path that you need to take concerning whatever that you need and whatever that you are expecting. Because of course, number five, you are expecting miracles. You are expecting answers. And of course, when I spoke about the wisdom of God, it's important that as you are asking, let it be in line. Don't ask for things that will put you more in debt. Don't ask for a big loan to be approved that will even sink you more in life and steal all your joy. That's why wisdom is very important. And that's why I said, identify before you ask make a proper analysis of whatever that you are trusting and asking God for. How is your life going to be once you have that? Is this also in the will of God? And I'm going to pray over everybody today. And we are all going to do a declaration after I have prayed this prayer. So I want you already to open up your spirit. I want you to already to open up your heart as we pray right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, help somebody today to be able to ask big, to trust boldly, and to expect greatness from you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may their requests be aligned with your will and may their, may their requests be aligned with your purposes. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Now, people of God, I want you to decree this after me. I want you to say, I will ask big. Believing that God is able to do immeasurably more than what I ask or imagine. Glory to God. Now, people of God, I want you to note down the scriptures that I, I used as my basis for this word. Go over them, meditate on them as you ask God, as you trust God for that great release, that great intervention in your life. Know that it is going to happen according to his word and according to his will. He is a big God. He is a great God. And we can receive big from, from him. We can receive greater things from him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So go ahead right now. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you are here for the first time, make sure you also subscribe. Wonderful people, I trust that you've been blessed by this word. I will definitely see you when I come your way again with my next video. Shalom to you all. God bless you.